Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Yesterday, On One Software released an upgrade to Photo Raw, On One Photo Raw 2022. I did a video on it. In that video, I mentioned that I was disappointed in that the version of the software that most of us probably purchased will not work as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop. If you want that plugin functionality, you would have to pay an extra $70 for the ultimate package. Well, there is a way to get on One Photo Raw 2022 to work as a plugin in Lightroom. And in this video, I'm going to demo how to set it up. All credit must go to David Tillett. He commented on my video yesterday mentioning that you can use it as a Lightroom plugin if you do what I'm going to show you now. What you'll need to do is go to Lightroom Preferences. If you have a Mac, Lightroom Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open Preferences, go to the third tab from the left, External Editing. And what you want to do is go to this middle tab additional external editor and what you want to do is right here where on mine it says topaz denoise ai yours may say something different right there just click on choose and when you do that um a mac finder window will come up or a windows file explorer window will come up and what you'll need to do is navigate to the folder on your computer that contains on one photo raw 2022 on a Mac, it's under the Applications section. And if I scroll down, I'll find On One Photo Raw 2022. Open up that folder, and there is the app, On One Photo Raw 2022.app. Of course, on a PC, that would be .exe. So we're going to click on that, and you can see then the Choose button comes alive. And we're going to click Choose. Now that is there. Now don't worry about what it says up here. You're not going to lose the noise AI in my case. We're going to just save this as a whole new thing. What you need to do is change the file format to PSD. Um, your color space, you could use whatever you want. I like to use Profoto RGB. That's the largest color space. I like to use 16 bits per component. And I like to use a resolution of 360. You could put anything above 240, they recommend. If you have an Epson printer, Epson recommends 360. But to tell you the truth, that really doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to have these settings. Again, PSD, Profoto RGB, 16 bits per component, resolution of 360. Now we need to save this as its own thing, not as Topaz Denoise AI edited. We need to save it as On One Photo Raw 2022. To do that, we're going to go to this drop down and go towards the bottom, and we're going to go down to Save Current Settings as a New Preset. And when we do, we now have to name it. So we're going to call it On One Photo Raw 2022. You could call it anything you'd like. I'm going to call it that. And we're going to click Create. All right, now you could see it replaced that Denoise info up here with On One Photo Raw 2022. And it's got these settings. We're all set. We have it there. Now let's send this image into On One Photo Raw 2022. 2022 and replace the sky. I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. I had mentioned that the sky replacement in On One Photo Raw 2022 does a great job when trees, mountains, and hills are in the distance, but it doesn't seem to do as a good a job when there are buildings. And I demoed that yesterday and I received a few questions on it. And I just want to show this image because I have this image. The same exact image I sent into Luminar AI and I replaced the sky. And it literally just replaced the sky. It didn't do any extra work. So we're going to send this one to On One Photo Raw 2022. The way we always do, we're just going to right click right on the image. We're going to go down to Edit In. Now that new On One Photo Raw 2022 should be in here. And here it is right here On One Photo Raw 2022. We'll click on that. Now you'll see that uh, obviously it doesn't have the individual components, uh, effects, no noise, portrait, 
Those are all in on One Photo Raw 2022, and you have access to all of those. They're not just individual plugins any longer. It's one big general plugin uh, with this. So we're going to go to On One Photo Raw 2022. And again, it will pop up with this. We're gonna. This is a raw file, so we're gonna edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments PSD with those settings we added earlier. And we'll click Edit. Now, Lightroom, you can see in the progress bar in the top left-hand corner, it is creating the PSD file with those specifications, and it will open it up in On One Photo Raw 2022. And you can see it's opening right now, and it does take a little while to open. I do have a rather uh, fast system, and I never really had any performance issues with any of the On One versions, so it does run pretty well. Um, okay, so we're opened up, and I mentioned it doesn't uh, have the individual like portrait um, like a plug-in, but it is right here. You can just go to the tab, but we're going to go to the sky. We're going to replace the sky, and what it will do is it takes a second to use the mask we're going to just add clouds and we'll click on clouds and you can see how it just didn't even see the light tower uh, in the background uh, so we're still going to stay with clouds and we'll see if we can find some different clouds see any clouds i choose because the mask is fooled the mask doesn't know that the lighthouse is there um so um, I'm not going to go, I d went in yesterday how you would fix this. And if you haven't seen that video I did yesterday, I'll have it uh, listed in the description uh, below this video so you could check that out. Uh, but you could see that it just doesn't see the lighthouse. So we're just going to say that this is good. And we're going to click done. So this is a little different now from this point forward. It's slightly different than when you used on one in the past as a plugin because you're going to have to save it. So click done. And then it's going to come up with this dialog box. You might have the smaller version of the dialog box. Either way, it's going to come up with this. And it's the same exact file name that the Lightroom used. So when I click Save, it's going to say it already exists. Just replace it. All right. And then it will save it. And you'll see that the progress uh, box comes up in the middle. Now, once it saves it, uh, it will close this image down and go back to the browse module but it doesn't close on one photo raw 2022 down so that's a difference obviously in the past when you used on one photo raw 2020 or 2021 or earlier as a lightroom plugin it would close down automatically so you have to manually close it down now once you do uh, the image might not update right away so you're going to have to click on around it And then what you'll see, there it goes. It just updated. So it takes a while. As you can see, uh, there it is. Now you may get this too, these three lines in this up arrow. What you need to do if you see that, just click on that and go to import settings from disk. Uh, the disk settings are what happened, what on one did to the image, are saved to disk. It's just Lightroom isn't recognizing them. So click on that and you can see it just stayed the same. So there you go. There is how you get On One Photo Raw 2022 to work as a plugin in Lightroom. And again, all thanks go to David Tillett for mentioning it and kind of jogging my memory. Oh, yeah, why didn't I think of that? Uh, but thanks to him, uh, now we know how to do it. Um, again, um, I, will stay, I will stay on top of the sky replacement thing and see if they improve it in subsequent releases and updates. Uh, because, as I mentioned, it does a great job on the what I would think would be harder, like between tree branches and things. But it seems to not do as good a job when there are man-made structures like a lighthouse. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.